Hello YouTube, this is Daniel Hill with another tutorial from Tech Tutorials 101. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to highlight the Windows Defender PowerShell module, a really useful module which I just found recently, which gives you all clear text information on the Windows Defender status of a machine. So we're going to open up PowerShell, get command, this um, module is called Defender. So you can see a few of the commands. Yeah, the one I like to start with is the get MP computer status. So in this command here, we can see we've got a um, very uh, important details, product versions, status of antivirus is enabled, um, signature age as well, and also the last updates uh, for signatures and that sort of stuff. So you can see here the um, NISS uh, signature age and the last update, so you can see it was quite a while ago. Um, another thing we can do is if we do the same command and we pipe it to last updated. So I uh, need to add in select object first. And then we can see here the last updated for signatures and the NIS S signature. Um, so again, really useful information. You could again using tools um, such as SCCM um, or even Group Policy get this um, output for a large amount of devices and sort it into a spreadsheet. And then go through there, and you can see which devices are not reporting in and not downloading updates um, for Windows Defender. The next um, set of commands I like to use is the scans command. So what we can do is we can go start dash mp scan that will go ahead and start a scan for us you can also use start dash mp wos scan and this will do a windows defender offline scan if you don't have any access to internet connectivity so the next command we can use is the get mp threat detection so this will show any active or past um, threats on the machine. As I don't have any at the moment, it's not showing on there, but it's really useful um, that you can run on a large amount of devices and get any active or previous threats. Um, and the final command we can use, which I find really useful, is just the update MP signature to update the signature, antivirus signatures on the machine. Rather than just rather than actually opening Windows Defender, we can just come into PowerShell, issue this command, and then we we'll get the signatures updated. So as we can see here, it's going off to the um to the antivirus definitions servers and download the latest definitions. This may take a bit of time as I haven't been using Windows Defender previously, so I'll just be back in a sec once that's completed. Also, when it comes to the virus scans, you can also issue a quick or a full scan. And you can do that by going to start dash mp scan and then you can use the scan type switch and then you can either do a full scan or you can do a quick scan you can also do scan path and then that will and then if you put a path in here it will essentially put all of the logs for the scan into that path so if you were running the scan against a load of machines and you want to log to a network drive, you could use a UNC path in there and you could have all of your scans um, delivered to a network share, which you could access and review at a later date. Now that update's completed, we can just go into here and go MP computer status. And then we see we've got fully up to date any virus definitions if we do the again that same command to select the last updated objects and we can see here this is now fully up to date so yeah as, as mentioned this is a really useful tool when managing windows defender especially if you're going to be managing it across multiple machines um, it's really easy to get clear text information and then pass this back to customers if they have any queries on 
any virus definitions or the last scans or if there's any active threats on the machine. I use this in my day job um, on a daily basis to deliver information to customers. So that is the end of this tutorial. If you have any further questions or any further suggestions on videos for Windows administration, please let me know. Thank you and please subscribe.